that's what I do. You can take it separately if you want. Me, I take it together because you need to take them together. They need to be together in your system. If you take one without the other, you're gonna get more sick. I know I was there. Now, after you do that, don't forget a very crucial element. You need sauna because your skin, once your body starts detoxifying, certain organs of yourself such as your liver your skin and all the other organs in your system but those are the two ones that are going to be mainly affected by the heavy metal detox liver and I'm gonna do it again liver and well we think of stomach yeah the stomach is affected so I'm not going to try to confuse you here. It's the liver that gets very affected. And the skin, yes. Sauna, hot sauna. Uh, me, what worked the best for me was a wet sauna. A wet sauna, a uh, dry sauna, uh, uh, whatever worked for you, you just need to sweat, okay? Now, the, w the way I was confused earlier because I was thinking of stomach, I forgot to tell you about the stomach, but what's important is that to get rid of a good amount of heavy metals before you start doing all this, even the chlorella, you do a, 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 a purge, meaning basically you need to get all the bad poop out of your stomach. So you, you need to make some purges, uh, you got things available, it doesn't mean you need to have diarrhea. You just need you need to to get start eating things that are purging, such as raw vegetables, raw vegetables, or very lightly cooked. You don't like that? I know. Well, you gotta find some strength, okay? You gotta do it, okay? You know, as much as you can, you know, even if it's half a carrot, just do it. <sighs> so you start putting your system, okay? You know, even if for five days you don't eat much, you know, you're going to lose some pounds and maybe you already lost a lot of pounds, just do it. You know, and um, if uh, just take some vitamins and, and minerals, you know, while you're doing it, so you're actually not depleting yourself from uh, all the, the good stuff as you are doing it. Well, after you do the chlorella and the cilantro together, you do your saunas at least, at least twice a week, minimum. If you can, you do it every day, but saunas can be tiring. So, you don't want to exhaust yourself in the process, you want to keep some strength to be able to heal yourself doing the program what else can I tell you yes um, eat healthy okay pray okay you probably started praying if you were in the same condition as I was, um, that's good. That does a lot. And um, it does everything. Uh, in the prayers, you will hear what your body needs. But I heard I needed uh, to sweat. I heard I needed to exercise that was the second step when I got a bit more energy now the energy you think it's going to come back progressively you know progressively feel better all right you're gonna feel better right away right off the bat one day bang. now you think you are jump out of bed and say wow I feel wow I feel like before no you're gonna have so much energy once you get up in the morning that you're not going to see the difference with the day before. You're going to be so freaking angry because of all the energy you're going to release. 
that is going to be there available for you and you're not used to it anymore you might not even see that you're already healed so don't forget a lot of exercises when you feel angry go exercise because you just might be just healed and uh, whatever works for you as exercise but basically there are two kind of sweating well, sweating in the sauna which to my perspective the way I understand it but I can't explain it is in the sauna you you sweat from the from the tissues while when you sweat from exercising you actually sweat from a deeper core like from the muscle or the, the heat up from the inside so so you so you sweat from a different layer I wouldn't say deeper but I would say from a different place and you need to sweat both ways it means you need to sweat by physical exercise once you are able when once you have enough energy and then you need to sweat from heat now don't forget to take a shower after that and I'm not saying that because I think you are full of bills and things that because the heavy metals are absorbable, absorbable by the skin. It means that you know they come out, but they can't also get back in. So once you sweat, you just take a shower. What I was doing in the sauna was going at the gym because living in Massachusetts, it gets kind of quite cold in the winter to sweat anywhere, but in a real sauna. What you can also do if you don't have the luxury of a gym, you can go to Home Depot or even better, their competitor, to get some infrared lamps and the build yourself a sauna. It's very simple, you take uh, three bulbs, they are, I believe, uh, 250 watts a shot, and then you build them if you have some skill and or someone who does. And, and you have three spotlights in front of you and then you put yourself in front of them with sunglasses now what now it's not bad for the eyes it's just it's the sunglasses prevent the, the eyes to dry out you know so you don't have to dry out um, well after that what do you do well you are going to be a new man, a new woman, or a new child, and uh, you know, uh, if you have any question, you can always contact me on my website um, that I need to make, but it's probably going to be at medic8.com, N E D I T, and the number 8. And um, I wish you a lot of courage, a lot of patience, and um, if you have a claim with your uh, insurance company, well, I don't even say good luck, but just in case, you know, you have actually one out of the box, maybe good luck. And um, or else don't waste your time. Um, just do the program and uh, and I'll see you uh, out there doing what you like to do, whatever it is, working, fishing, <laughs> relationships, things that you cannot do now because you need to take care of yourself first. <sighs> I'm enjoying this video a little too much here. Um, excuse me. See, the critical self just talked. So, poof. There. You need to keep looking ahead. You know, look at the positive. The positive. The positive. Okay? It's simple. Positive, it means plus.